Hey, what's up, everybody? Roll Shambo here. If you're new, welcome in. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Today, I'm going to do a teardown on my beloved Spyderco Para 3, which I have heavily modified since the time that I got it. Uh, that includes titanium scales, a Emerson wave feature called the Fang from Wise Men Co. And I also put on a retention ring, aka Karambit clip. And it's all in search of making just the, the perfect knife for me. And Spyderco is really good at that. Here's the thing. I'm going to be doing a comparison of the Spyderco Para 3 and the Demco 8020.5. And I just don't believe I can do that if one of them is heavily modified and the other one is not. Of course, people are going to lean towards the one that's heavily modified because a lot of money and time and work has been put into it. That being said, I figured that this would be a great time to show those who haven't done it yet before how to take the Spyderco Para 3 apart. Now, uh, this is very simple, and since I didn't record audio while I was doing the teardown, I'm not going to be talking throughout the whole thing because there's just no way I could get it to line up correctly. So, step one will be to remove the body and pivot screws. Step two will be to go ahead and remove the pocket clip so we can get the, the pocket clip side liner out since those screws screw directly into the liner. And then we need to pop out both liners from both sets of scales. After that, you will want to go ahead and take out the washers from the pivot and make sure to clean the washers, oil them if they need it. I like to hit mine on a strop a couple times and I might even hit the part of the blade that hits the washers. I might hit that on the strop. It just helps clean things up and makes everything ride a lot more smoothly. The really tricky part for me was not actually the lanyard tube, which a lot of people struggle with. I think that Spyderco stopped riveting those, so they're not as much of a pain as they used to be. In fact, even the first time I took mine apart, it just popped right out. I had that, that knife very well oiled and it didn't give me any issues at all. I could pull it out by hand. So I think Spyderco changed the way they did things. Can't confirm, but I can say that it hasn't been an issue. Instead, the issue that I always see is that the pivot collar itself has a very slight flat spot that fits into one of the sides of the liners. And it does this so that the pivot doesn't move when the knife moves. It makes things more secure. But if you're not paying attention, it's easy to miss. I'll make sure to point it out once we get to that point in the video. But it is extremely important to know which side of the pivot collar goes in which liner, given that flat spot. So make sure you pay attention to that. And if you don't put it in the right spot, you'll know because the liners and the scales won't fit in correctly. And all the alignment will be off. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and let everything do its thing. I'm going to let the video speak for itself. I will pop back in once we get to the point where I'm showing the flat spot on the pivot collar, since that was what threw me off the first time because I wanted to do it myself and I didn't actually watch any videos beforehand. You think, you know, you just unscrew and rescrew, but a little bit of attention goes a long way. So without further ado, we're going to let this thing roll and I'll be back in a second.
right, so right here is the spot that you need to be paying attention to. Even in the video, you can't really tell it that there's a flat spot on that specific liner in the pivot hole, but there is. The flat part, or rather the, the part of the pivot collar that has the, the flat spot needs to line up with that. If it doesn't, again, it will just not work correctly. So make sure that you're paying attention to this. Um, for mine, it was on the right hand side. I'm not sure if that's the same on all of them, but I would assume that it is. And once you get that in there, it's just a balancing act of making sure that everything else just fits together. So I'm going to be speeding this up a little bit and we're going to get to the end. If you guys have any questions, please make sure that you like and subscribe. If you've ever taken a knife apart and you didn't know how to put it back together or couldn't get it to fit back together, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, enjoy the rest of this one.